your average hip socket orientation is going to be to the side and slightly forward facing. But some people have more antiverted for forward facing hip sockets and other people have more retroverted or rear facing hip sockets. And depending on which type you have, that will determine the best position for your foot to be in when you squat. So somebody with very antiverted hip sockets will do much better with their feet parallel and somebody with more retroverted hip sockets like myself does much better with feet pointed out at an angle. Okay, so a way to determine which type of hip socket you have is um, lying face down, flex your knee at 90 degrees, okay, and we're going to test the internal rotation of your hip by trying to get the foot down as close to the floor, trying to get it as close to the floor as possible. I have really restricted internal rotation, so that's as far as I can go. So we'll look at the external rotation going the other way, keeping the pelvis flat in the same position. We're just testing the movement actually in the hip joint. Okay, so I've got much more external rotation, but really limited internal. And the other side, you can check both sides. There might be a slight difference. I can get a little bit more internal rotation on this side, but it's still very restricted. And much more external rotation. So that just means that when I squat, I'm much more comfortable with my feet like that, which looks a bit excessive for some people, but that's just how I'm built. So I squat down, that's quite comfortable for me, I can get into a deeper position there. Whereas if I squat with my feet parallel, I can feel the restrictions in my hip when I get to there. That's because my hip sockets are facing back, okay? Whereas someone else who has their hip sockets facing forward is going to do much better with their feet parallel like that.